Let's get ready. We got another week. Another exciting week starting for us here. Got to love it. I love it. See if I can. Get some things operational here. Guys, as I'm as I'm constantly reminding you, right? I'm constantly reminding you of this, right? That. You try to fit as much as I possibly can here. There's no way for us to predict what the first bar of the morning is going to be, right? So it's our responsibility to not go into the market, right? We don't want to go into the market leaning in one direction or another. It's not enough to know, is the market opening up this morning or is the market opening down this morning? That's not important because sometimes it doesn't matter which way the market opens. The market could open up and the best opportunities are down. The market could open down, the best opportunities are up. So you never want to go into the market thinking one direction or another. You have to go into the market neutral. All right. I don't know what I have to do to get my team to uncheck the private box. All right. I have to spank them, at, at, I guess. But OK, so guys, we know this. We've got a minute and a half <laughs> to start. We're going to be patient. We're going to watch the first bar develop in our specific stocks, right? Now, listen. The only thing that you can do right now is to determine where your stocks are likely to open in relationship to their fabulous fours. So if we take Apple, for example, right here, all right? Let me put the level two of Apple here. We can take a look in the level two and see that Apple is trading at 117.26 to 29, more or less, right? 26.27 to 28.29, okay? Um, that puts us about right here. Now you can also see that by the, by the black arrow here, all right? So now if we go, we're off and running, guys. We're off and running. We started. So Apple, as you can see, has opened here. It's 20 period moving averages here. It's 200 period moving averages there. All right, there's some decent space between. But that's all we can do in the open is at the before the open is really know what our stocks are, where they're likely to open. For instance, QCOM as well has opened well below the key moving averages, all right? But we want to let the first two minutes of the, of, of the market predominantly go by. You understand? We don't want to jump the gun too much. Take a look at MU. MU has opened opposite, it has opened above the prior day's late day activity, it has opened above the moving averages. But again, we wanna let that first two minutes go by for the most part, all right? Let me get that alarm. All right. Now, if we take Microsoft as an example, Microsoft is open in between your key moving averages, or it's in between. That's called the trap zone, right? Trap zones are very, very tricky. So, guys, I want you to take a look at QCOM. 
All right. Take a look at QCOM. Ah. All right. This is something you can take a shot at if you like. All right. Right above that high. All right. You're underneath the moving averages, but there's some room up to the moving average. There's some space. There's a vacuum. Right. But you are playing against position. So you want to keep that in mind. But there is some space for movement back up here. OK. That's a potential play. If you like. What is Apple doing? Take a look at Twitter. See, Twitter has taken off. Here's the first two-minute bar. Nice, nice bull elephant bar, bottoming tail-like bar. Boom, that's your buy right above the high. And that's that sound starting to develop there. It's that sound starting to develop there. All right, boom. You know the deal. For, so all of my Twitter traders, you should be all over that. Okay. Now you know what a lot of a lot of novices, right? Untrained novices, they are out in the market searching for things. But you I don't want you to be searchers. Do you understand? You're watching your stocks. You are not searching other people's stocks. Guys, if you are snap buyers, you can take a buy of snap here with a stop right under that low right there. All right, just to see if that has some legs to it. Um, but listen, guys, this is an important point. You're, I don't want you searching. I just want you monitoring your stocks. These events will happen that I teach you. These events will happen to your stocks. You don't have to search in for foreign stocks that you are not familiar with, that you are not intimate with, that you do not know. That's what novices do. We stick with the stocks that we play virtually every single day, and we wait for the events that we know to happen to those stocks. Do you understand? All right, guys, the QCOM is moving very nicely so far. All right. There's the QCOM working its way up into that area. Let's see. Let's see. Now, you know, boom, protective stop. You have to be willing to lose that bar. You're not going to lose more than that bar, but you got to be willing to lose that. Sometimes you're going to lose. That's a permanent part of the game. I just want you losing correctly. And I want you knowing what to lose. I, know, I want you knowing what you're going to lose. You understand? That's what I want. I want you going into your plays, understanding that what your potential loss is. It is shocking to me how many traders get into trades and have no idea that they could have lost what they lost. That's silly to me. You should know what your potential loss is before you enter your plays. All right, before you enter your plays. Do you guys understand that? Know your potential loss before you enter your trades, not after you enter your trades. All right. Coast is uh, pointing us to UAL. UAL is above TGT. All right. Here's the Twitter. Most of the game is waiting. 
I always joke about this, traders, that I want you to understand that most of what you do is to wait. Even after you get into a play, the vast majority of your activity is waiting. In fact, the activity shouldn't even be called trading. It should be called waiting. What are you waiting for? The next event to occur. What are you waiting for? Your profit target to be met. What are you waiting for? The point in time when you should raise your protective stop. You are waiting most of the time for the next thing to occur. If you think about it, if your trade, if your trade lasts 12 minutes, all right? So that's six bars, right? So let's say your trade lasts 12 minutes, okay? Out of the 12 minutes, the portion of the 12 minutes that it took you to hit the buy button and hit the sell button is actually fractions of a second. Think about that. So the trade lasted 12 minutes and your action lasted two seconds. It's crazy. So what did you do for the entire 12, uh, for the entire 11 minutes and 58 seconds? You waited. That's it. Now, all right, sound is okay, right, traders? Sound is almost always on the user's end, by the way. All right, let's tell Kimberly sound is fine. Okay, QCOM is edging up, inching up. Remember, our protective stop is here. You got to be willing to lose that. All right, if you're going to take that, you got to be willing to do that. Um, let's see what else is going on here. MU, look at the beautiful bottoming tail bar on MU. Look at the beautiful position above the moving averages. All right, there's your moving averages. Beautiful bottoming tail bar, boom. All right. How many how many people got the how many people got the MU? Alina got the MU. Wangari got the Gabrielle got it. Delroy, Costa, Gustavo, James, Carlos, another Carlos. We got the Carlos brothers got it. Every I love it. All right. Costa got TGT. Nice, Costa. Beautiful. Boom. I love it. Diego, who Diego, you got the you got the target as well, TGT as well. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what else is going? QCOM continues to inch up higher. Guys, who's making money? That's what I want to know. Who's making money? We are 10 minutes into the day. Who's making money? Me, 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 me. Yeah. All right. This is crazy, right? Guys, 10 minutes, 10 minutes of work. Crazy. Where else can you do this? And what else can you do this in? It's crazy. Love it. All right. What else is going on here? MU, 
continues to climb, guys. Congratulations on my MU player. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Congratulations, traders. Congratulations on the MU. Love it. Who else do I need to congratulate? Who else? Or what else? AMD. Congratulations on the AMD. <laughs> Who else got AMD? Who got AMD? Akash got AMD. James got AMD. Alina got, you got AMD too. Alina, please. Tyra, Tyron, Roberto, Teresa, Henrik. I love it. And Alina, please leave some money for some, leave some money for some other traders, please. Alina's taking all the money. She's got AMD. She's got MU. She's got, she's got them all. Leave some. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you, Alina. Take it all. Take it all. Costa, you too. You're taking all the money. Cisco? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Where are my QCOM traders? Where are my QCOM traders? What are you doing? Who's got QCOM? Who's got QCOM? Boom, Tyler. Yeah. Our right, Erickson, you've got eBay. All right, nice. That's that's moving higher. I like it. Beautiful elephant bar. All right. Nice little RBI here. Boom. Boom. Gotta love it. All right. Is this considered whale complete? Gabrielle is asking whale complete, not at all. You haven't had a pullback yet. <laughs> Remember, in order to have a whale complete, guys, you need a pullback and then a move to a new high, right? That's your whale. But RBIs are not pullbacks. That's not a pullback, that's a pause. So you have to know the difference between a pullback and a pause, all right? That's a pause. This is a pullback, all right? All right. Guys, QCOM was the first pick of the day. I told you, Elephant Bar <clears throat> with space underneath the 20 had potential, right? to run to the 20 period moving average. Look, boom. Gustavo, you got that? Did you get that? Boom. Oh, you mean thanks for the cryptos? Man, those things are crazy. How many people are making money on the cryptos with me? Come on, t tell me. How many people are making money with me on the cryptos? Me, 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 me. Woo! <laughs> crazy. What I'm curious, what percentages are some of you up? What percentage? Give me some percentages. What percentages are you are you up? Some of you. Tyler's up 100 percent. That's crazy. Gerson, 40 percent. Gustavo, 100 percent. 
60% Akash. Yes. Guys, these are professional numbers. 80% Carlos. 71% Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Crazy. I love this game. Julian is 100%. I love it. I love it. Nice. Look at this QCOM just inch its way up, guys. Now, here, here, this is something, this is a perfect time to talk about this, guys. Look, you see how QCOM is grinding its way higher. It's tight. It's not, it's not like that. It's not whippy. It's not wild. It's power trending, right? Now, what do you use on power trends? Tell me. What do you use on power trends? What are you supposed to use to trail power trends? You're supposed to use moving averages, right? But you can't use your traditional moving averages when you're below them like this. See, QCOM is below the moving averages. So guess what you have to do? Let me show you. You've got to go sometimes as low as the five. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to put the five period moving average on this thing. And I'm going to show you something. Look at that. So you see how it's now it's starting here. Because if you if you use the traditional moving averages, it's going to be above the price. All right. So, guys. That's taking you one more, that's taking you one more lower. So it's 20, it's 13, it's eight, and then five with these scenarios below, way below the moving averages, you got to go to that five. You learn something new every day with me, guys, every day. And so you could, so guys, you should be taking some profits up here near the 20. And if you want to leave some in, all right, trail that five. See how far I can take you. But remember the sequence, guys. Remember the sequence. 20, 13, 8, and 5. Can we always put the five? You mean, can you have the five on your chart permanently? I wouldn't do that. You can, sometimes having too many of these moving averages on your chart at the same time can skew your view, all right? But you can put it on for anything that opens way below the moving averages like QCOM or in the opposite direction, way above, but it's starting to go down way below and is starting to go up, you, you use the five, all right? Now, someone was asking me about, uh, um, someone was asking me about M MU and is that whale complete? And I said, no, you don't have a pullback. Now you have the pullback, right? If you go high here, if you make the new high now, it's whale complete. You guys got it? Pauses are different from pauses are different from pullbacks. All right. Uh, Twitter failed. Let's let's take a look at Twitter. Um, what do you mean that it failed? All right, so here's the pullback. All right, a failure would be the break of this pivot, right? So I'm not quite sure what you mean by it failed. Right, yeah, it didn't fail yet. We'll see. We'll see. 
You know, it's this pullback was deeper than I would like, but it did hold the 20. So you gotta you gotta ride it out and see. All right. But your stop should be now, not now. Initially your stop's here. Now your stop is adjusted there because you got the bounce, right? So once you get that bounce, bounce, then you move that stop there. All right. Who's got eBay? Who's got eBay? <laughs> Andreas, Irene. Wow. Beautiful. All right, guys. I, I got to know this. Who bought eBay again on the RBI? Who did it? Who got the RBI right there? Andreas, you did? Nice. Nicholas, too. Woo! Irene, yeah? I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of you. Guys, MU, congratulations. Congratulations. Whale complete. MU, congratulations, guys. I got to give you the sound on that one. Let's do it. Congratulations. Hey, where are you? Where's my applause at? Yeah. Congratulations, Q Commerce. My Q Commerce. Where are you? Congratulations, Q Com. Boom. <laughs> yeah, those those profits are popping. Guys, remember that five. Let's do it again. Let's put that five on there. What I just taught you. That five holding you well. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, Beautiful. Look at this thing. This is the first thing I noticed this morning, guys. The first play of the morning. Oh. Beautiful. Apple hasn't been joining in in the, in the game here. Let's see. Um, oh. What else is going on here? Let's see here, guys. Square. Who are where are my square players? I've got some square traders. Boom! Stop under the low. Boom! And whale complete, guys. You see the whale complete and square? You see it? Oh, well, complete. A mat, Ruth. A Ruth has a mat. Whoa, Ruth, beautiful. Are you still in that a mat? A mat, Ruth. Are you still in it? Nice. And, and and what moving average are you using to ride this out? What moving average are you using, Ruth? This is beautiful. You guys are killing it this morning. You're killing it. You make me so proud. You have no idea. You make me so proud. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Congratulations there. I got to do it again. Let's get some popcorn popping here. 
some popcorn. Those, those profits are popping. Oh, shoot. What is going on here? Eric is asking, when does the stop and reverse override the trading plan? When violence knocks your stock into last week. When a violent reversal knocks your stock into last week in one giant blow, that's usually a stop and reverse. And that blow removes your reason. Got to think of it that way. All right. Uh, just guys, give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right, let's see. Twitter, did it did it did it stop out on that pivot? All right. All right. So, you got the initial run, the pullback, the secondary run didn't go. The stop should have been adjusted here and you're out. Hey, look. You can you're never going to be able to eliminate these. You just have to know how to deal with them and this is dealing with it correctly. All right. Well, good job with that. XOM. Nice. Look at that beautiful move off the eight, too. I mean, off the eight period moving average. See how it's the eight period moving average it's reacting off of? Beautiful. Beautiful. Al, you're saying you were you were thinking about a bar by bar. You can go bar by bar now. Absolutely. You got nice distance away, so you can start bar by bar now. Twitter is not a reversal. Guys, don't think that every stop out is a reason to reverse. Reversals are usually very violent. I didn't see anything violent in Twitter. Doesn't mean it won't go down, but it's just not the type of reversals I like. This is still, but it's in its own trap zone. This is support. That's resistance now. You got the 200 there. What? What? what where's your downside potential here? It's nothing. It's pennies. Don't scare me, guys. Don't scare me. How far beyond the 9.30 a.m. open does the Fab Four block extend? I mean, it's hard to put a, put a time on it because every day is different. But you figure, like, guys, look, let me explain something to you. The reason why we use the Fabulous Four concept traders is because... We don't have history from today yet. So we have to use at the open, we have to use the history from yesterday. This is yesterday's history. So I've got to find out resistance points from yesterday or the day before. The moving averages 
are 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 the result of the prior day's activity and the price activity from the prior day is what helps us form our fabulous four right but once today's history begins i don't need yesterday's anymore you understand i've got today's history to work off of so today resistance is here and support is there i don't have to go beyond this wall here to look at yesterday anymore does that make sense traders the fabulous four is be is used only when you don't have today's history yet once you have enough of today's history yesterday's data doesn't matter so there's no more fab four there's only support and resistance levels made by the stock's activity today all right another way i try to explain this is imagine remember how when we were kids we used to take a blank sheet of paper and draw the sun in the upper right hand corner remember that you do like this here's the sun right am, am i the only one who did this did anybody used to draw the sun in the upper right hand corner when you were kids I, don't tell me i'm the only one <laughs> all right so there's the sun right now check this out where does the sun shine on right where does the sun shine on when there is no today yet you see where the sun is shining it's shining on the prior day you see that its rays are shining on the prior day you see but when you have today's activity now what's receiving the sun today's activity and today's activity is blocking the sun from this is no longer receiving the sun no longer receiving the attention no longer receiving the importance no longer receiving the energy from the sun's rays we don't focus on it any more only this all right all right you guys got it all right guys look the qcom did really nicely for us this morning beautiful Beautiful. Oh. Loving it. You guys keep bringing my attention to Nugent here. What is this? All right. A double space, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you buy it just because there's double space, right? You know you need violence from there. Now, <clears throat> here's a tendency of a lot of novices, right? Novices has, have missed this short. See that elephant bar? Boom! Short the elephant, stop above the elephant. Or even here, guys, even here. This is your short this morning. So here's your fat four. Here's your elephant bar under the moving averages. You short under the elephant bar. Stop above the elephant bar. Here is your add on the color game, right? Boom. You add again here. And there's that sound beautiful play this morning beautiful play all right novices who miss this play 
will say, well, I'm going to get it the other way. And that's a very novice impulse. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't times when something down here is a buy. But it's not now. It's not now. And so I'm always reminding you of this little formula. Remember this formula, guys. Look. P, C, T. Okay? Position. Color. And trend. Now, you want as many of these three things in your trade's favor as possible. This is how you can rate your trade. So let's say, for instance, we take a buy right there. We want to buy right there. That's where we want to buy. So we have to say, wait a minute. Am I buying above the moving averages? Because that's where the best buys are. No, I'm buying below the moving averages, right? So position is not in our favor. If the buy is up here, it's in our favor, all right? So position is not in our favor. We got 1x. What's the trend? The trend is down, right? So we are... With a buy, we are fighting the trend. We don't have trend in our favor. Now, right there, right there, traders, right there, the trade's a bad trade. But let's keep going. What about the color? What's the dominant color, red or green? Obviously, it's red. Red is the dominant color. There's more red on this chart than green. So you don't even have the color in your favor. This is a stupid trade. Like 2x is a bad trade. 3x is a stupid trade. Oliver, don't say stupid. That's not politically correct. Well, here it is. Stupid's politically correct for us. 3X, stupid. <laughs> so don't forget, guys. Don't forget this three-point check system. It will keep you out of a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I love it, traders. I love it. I love this game. I love it so. Let me ask you something. Do you love this game called trading? Do you love it? Just let me know. Or do you just like it? I just like it, Oliver. I don't love it. I like Do you like it or you love it? Love it? <laughs> I love it. Even when it's hard, do you love it? Do you love it when it's hard too? I love it because it's hard. I don't like it. I don't love it less because it's hard. I love it more because it's hard. I don't want this to be easy. When someone steps, when someone says, but Oliver, trading is hard. And I'm like, you know what? Then trading's not for you. If you're bothered by the fact that trading is hard, it's not for you. Go take up something else. Maybe take up knitting. Knitting, that's pretty safe and easy. Knitting. Take up croquet, cro crocheting or something. You know? Knit for a living, you know, get in your rocking chair and, 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 and get your little balls of yawn and it's, that's pretty safe and easy. 
I love this activity because it's hard. You should want it to be hard. The last thing I want someone telling me is that, ah, oh, Oliver, you're a, you're a master trader? Ah, oh, that's easy. Everybody's a master trader. That's so easy that everybody can do that. I don't, who wants to be good at something that everybody is good at? That's dumb, right? I don't want to be good at some something that's so easy that everybody's good at it. I don't want to be talking to my neighbors and my neighbors say, oh, yeah, but everybody, everybody's successful at that, Oliver. What else do you do? I want this response. What? What? You're successful at trading? Almost no one's successful at trading. Oh, my God. How did you do that? What did you do? How did you start? Who, who taught you? My God, can you teach me? I want to be good at something like that. I want it to be difficult. I want it to be hard. I want it to have a high failure rate. I want to be the minority. I don't want to be the majority. You follow what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Let me know. Am I boring you? All right. <laughs> All right. Just making sure. Just making sure. Would the third bar have, well, Eric is asking, would this bar have caused you to go long? Why? Has your, has your stop been violated? You're short here. Has your stop been violated with that bar? No. Has the reason of, for your trade been taken away from you in a violent way? No. You're scaring me, Eric. Come on, this is basic stuff. All right, guys, let's see. Ooh, look at V. Oh, my God. I know this might be out of many of your price ranges, but it's still a benefit in looking at these things so that when they happen to your stocks... All right, you're confident in taking it. Look at the beautiful position. Nice Uber, nice too. <clears throat> I love this. I love this break above the the, the twenty after after this pause. See, and then boom. Love it. Yeah, yeah. American Express. Look at that bottoming tail bar. Boom. Apple, yeah, that's that's a, that's a bit overdone now, guys. If you take these plays for a snapback, you have to be you have to have your risk defined, right? Have your risk defined, and be willing to take that. Be willing to accept that risk. You understand? got to be willing to, to accept that risk. What's that risk? If you're going to try this, you're going against the trend. You're going against position. 
but you have dual space and a strong event. Now, that still might not be enough, but you got to be willing to take the risk here. If you're going to do it, you have that has to be acceptable to you, you see? If that risk is not acceptable, it's not a good play. Now, what do I mean by an acceptable risk? One that you're not excited about the loss here, but it's like, eh, okay, I can get that back. That's the attitude. Eh, okay. I gave it a shot. It didn't work. I can get that back. But if your risk, if your loss makes you depressed, it's an incorrect loss. If your loss hurts, I'm not talking about mild disappointment because it didn't work. That's different. But if it hurts badly, it was an incorrect loss. If your loss makes you want to seek counseling, it was an incorrect loss. If your loss makes you want to slam your keyboard, it's an incorrect loss. Losses should be acceptable. Losses should be like, oh, okay, think of an 11-year-old kid playing a video game. He's playing this video game, da -da 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 -da, and he gets blown up. He's not happy about getting blown up. So there's a brief moment of disappointment, but after a few, after a two or three seconds of that, what does the twelve? What does that eleven year old do? Tell me. He just got blown up. What does he do? Reset. Next trade. Next game. And it's instantly forgotten like the blow up instantly is forgotten instantly that 11 year old is immersed in the next game there's not even a single thought about the last game and that's the attitude you gotta have your losses have to be a momentary, ah, all right, no big deal. Reset. And if you're taking losses that make you think about it all day long, you're, that's the wrong loss. Your losses shouldn't be making you think about them all day long. Very important, guys. Very important. But listen, I will always tell you, I'm always telling you, your best buys come from above the moving averages. Your best shorts come from below the moving averages. You start to violate that position rule or guideline. More often than not, you're going to be a loser more often than not look at all look at most of the plays that really went on to be stellar today the exception is qcom but qcom worked because of the violence see the violence you got that was below the moving averages but violence cancels out position listen to me carefully traders violence cancels negative position it cancels it out but when you don't have violence position is powerful All right so mu works so well because you are above the moving averages all right you see what i'm saying you're above Above the moving averages, right? You are above the moving averages, not under here trying to buy like a freaking idiot. Now, again, with violence, you're not an idiot. Without violence, 
you're on the dumb side, sorry to say. Target above the moving averages. You're itching to buy? Find something above the moving averages if you're itching so much to buy. Why make your game, why make the game so much harder than it needs to be by violating the position rule? Look at these bottoming tail bars above the moving averages. All right, and stop calling every red bar violence. Red bars are not violence until they become violent, if they become violent. Violence wipes out a good chunk of the opposite color. It's just not a red bar or a green bar. You can have green bar that's violence too. All right, um, but you get what I'm saying. All of your best plays are above the moving averages. All right, now this is so, remember I was saying you could go long there, but you got to be willing to reverse that because you're so far above the moving averages. That's a great, that's a great reversal there. I know some of you did this. Who shorted, who shorted snap here? This is one of those situations where going against the position is okay because you're, this is Pluto up here. You're almost outside of the galaxy. David, nice. All right, traders. I want you to know that you guys are awesome today. You are making me so proud. Wow. I am seeing method applied, not guessing. I am seeing strategy and not gambling. Some of you guys are really, really progressing very nicely. You guys know what to do. Go to work. Do the right thing. Keep those losses small. Move on like that 11-year-old video game trader. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Love you. Boom. Thank you.